Yes, yes. Once again, greetings forward always. We say day to day with their in a group called a YouTube channel called Lucky Lost the Gambia. Nice Gambia, best Gambia, beautiful Gambia, one Gambia, as we always said. Before me, I have to split out what, me, uh, what we come for here. I have to extend my greetings to my clean people, beautiful people, nice people, England, Finland, Netherlands, Holland, Norway, Germany, Sweden, you know, Kano, I turn to me people, Ghana, Cameroon, Guinea-Bissau, you know, Wola, West Africa. I come to me people, you know, Gambia. I will say we there working hard day by day to make a name for the country. We there have to represent the red, white, blue, white, green to the four corners of the world. Day to day we there are done in a um Kachikali done in Bakau. Um Kajikali was built in 1853 since um in years so day to day we there with musa musa have let us the full story and the biography of this place here musa he will introduce himself and anyway and we will drop off his number as we do um in case when you when you are coming to the gambia you want to uh, visit the crocodile pool um you can link musa forward always and before coming to the gambia just link him up and then you make up an arrangement and a lineup and a day to make a visit so that he will know that you are coming and then you will meet him around. So if you are coming to the Gambia, make sure you link him direct on WhatsApp. So Musa, introduce yourself to the four corners of the world. The world is watching you simply the world. Thank you. My name is Musa Bajo. I'm the guide and the historian of the crocodile pool. I've uh, been for over 10 years mm. with uh, wow. with uh, and amazing animals. Animals. Crocodiles. Crocodiles. Yeah. And uh, which we have uh, 100 crocodiles with us here. Wow. And uh, everybody is welcome to see them. Absolutely, they are friendly. You can touch them, take some pictures with them, no problem. Um, uh, because they don't eat, uh, they only eat fish. Mm -hmm. They don't eat people here. <laughs> so, <laughs> people, yeah, so um, that's why the Kachikali become very popular and famous because. Uh, Around the world, people see crocodiles as different animals, as one of the most aggressive or deadly animals. So, in Kachikal, it's different. They are absolutely friendly and uh, fantastic. As he said, Kachikal was founded almost uh, 18th century and uh, by the family called the Bojang, which came first in Bakau. Uh, they are the co founders of this place. Uh, when they came, they settled down here. These family uh, mother, father, two brothers and a sister. They came, they live here. And they found that the pool was a uh, hand up well with uh, natural spring water. Mm -hmm. And they never know to take the well, they just found it here. They just found it here. Uh, but as we always in Africa, it's particularly in the Gambia, we knew that uh, almost all domestic jobs or homes don't buy our sisters. And, uh, so, uh, the sister from the family called my boja she will came to the uh, well every day and to fetch water until one fine day uh, she finds a woman so close to the well and look much more worried and she asks her what is the problem the woman said that her baby fell down to the well and she needs support so somebody to bring her baby out mm. which she uh, went to call the two brothers to come to came to help the the, this, the woman uh, tamba and jolly when they came, Jale went down to the well and to pick this baby out, and, and that's where the name came from, Kachikale, from Mandinka. It's Kachika. Kachikale. So they, they got the name Kachikale, and the mother of the baby was so so happy and was pleased the help that they gave her, and she told them uh, the spirituality and the importance of this place that the boy that didn't knew uh, that it is a holy place and sacred. And, the well with the water, the water is a blessing water, and it's holy, and barren women can use the water to wash their body, and they will be lucky to conceive, and also any other individual problems the man needed to solve, you know, and if you wash, if you wash your body with the water, um, God, will, God will help, and uh, it will, your dreams will come true. And uh, with the blessing of two crocodiles in there, which uh, the woman asked the Bojan family to properly take care of these two crocodiles. And the Bojan did keep their promise up to today. 
and uh, year in year out the number gets reproduced by the, the number get increased by reproducer uh, up to date and uh, we have 100 crocodiles 100. Uh, we obviously control the population otherwise it could be more than that mm -hmm. and they eat fish they eat 250 kilos of fish in a day yeah. make them quiet and friendly but uh, that's why as i said earlier the people can come and touch them without no problem and also um, uh, one of the oldest crocodiles that we have right right now 76 2.5 meters because they wouldn't go more than three meters in here they only go to the size of the environment they are living mm -hmm. so 2.5 they wouldn't go more than that so it's like did they lay eggs or yeah of course they do lay eggs to have babies to, that's where they reproduce by laying eggs outside of the water they have to decose and put the eggs in the sun mm -hmm. take them three months three well, months before before it will hatch depending on the temperature to determine the sex uh, lower temperature will be will be boys and higher temperature will be girls and you know that by looking at the egg you know? no by looking at the egg you wouldn't know what sex would they have until when they hatch you know? okay 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 yeah, but the temperature determines whether the temperature determines the sex yeah Okay, so looking at those two crocodiles, that one was here uh, in, in the beginning. Yeah. So are they still here? No, no. Okay. They, they, it's like human, you know. Yeah. You leave for the time, you're gone, and some genera another generation you come, you know. Yeah, some it's a circle of leaving, you know. You know, we have to live like that, you know. Another one goes, another one's gone. Yeah. They have, uh, like us, we have limited time <laughs> to stay in your life, so any other living thing too. But uh, as I said, crocodiles are lucky animals that they can live up to 100, which is wow. quite long. Yeah, and it's one of the key reasons too we have to control the population mm -hmm. because of the the life expand is too long, and uh, also cost of uh, finance is also expensive. You know, so 50 kilos. 250 kilos. Wow, that's a lot of fish. Yeah. That's a lot of fish, so yeah. it means crocodiles are eating the Gambian fish all over. Uh huh. Yeah, so uh, the crocodile that you have here, what is the, the oldest that you have? At this moment, 76. 76 years old. 76. Wow. Do they have any difference among themselves? Yeah. The only difference will be the gender, the skins of the color, you know. Mm. Which, uh, the dark ones are female skins, the light ones are the male. Okay. But these are all yeah, the same species, no, no different species. When you look around, you see um, everywhere is green. So, um, how many trees are here? Uh, no, I wouldn't know the number of the trees. So, so, but, but so you can, you can name some, some trees. Yeah, I think uh, we have these calabash tree. We have uh, I think some of the flowers are there. I'm not very good in the trees, but mm -hmm. anyway, we have so many trees, and you can yeah. see everywhere is green. It's mm -hmm. rain, mm -hmm. rainy season now, so everything looks green and beautiful. So, yeah. yeah. So the stones that are around the the what's the name of the, the pool. pool. Were they done by the old Indian people or? No, no, these were done by recently. Okay. You know, to, to change the, the, the surface of the pool to mm -hmm. make it a bit more cracky because, you know, we expanded uh, <laughs> up to this, this standard you know, so that they, they can have space to leave. Okay. Because it was a small well, so uh, you have to get a space for all of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you seen one second over there? And then. <coughs> Maybe some of them are inside the water. So, how many hours do they spend out there? So, crocodiles can spend the whole day out mm -hmm. as they, they are enjoying in the sun. Absolutely, they have no problem to live in the park. Also, depending on if they feel hot, they have to swim back oh. in, the, in the water. So, But, I mean, we don't control their movement. They do whatever they want to. They come out anytime they want to. They go back anytime they want to. So, and they can live inside the water like for several hours. Of course, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so, like, can we go around the? Sorry. Be careful. You have a lot of crocodiles here. Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid of crocodiles. What? I have to be careful. I'm trying to be careful here so that I will not step on a crocodile.
What? Woo! Look at it here. Wow. I can't get close to it. Lucky Charlie, you want to touch it? Yeah. Sabi, you want to touch it? Sabi, come touch it. So they are like, they are used to human beings. Yeah. Is it because they've been here for so long, that's why? Yeah, I mean, people come around them so they, they don't mind them. But you don't do anything for them to get used to human beings? No, no, you have it. to give them respect, that's all. Mmm, okay, 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 okay. Wow. Uh, do you give them names? Do they have any names? One of, only one of them have names. Only one, okay. And what's the name of that? Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. Charlie. Why Charlie name? I think he's lucky guy. He's a lucky crocodile. Oh, okay. He's a lucky crocodile like me. That's my name. Charlie. Lucky, lucky child. Yeah. yeah I one. named this one lucky. lucky. It's a female or it's a male crocodile. Wow. It's a male crocodile. So if you watch it, you will, you will recognize it. I know more crocodiles. You know more mm -hmm. crocodiles. Yes, crocodile. From day to day, the name is lucky. Lucky. Because it's the only crocodile outside today. Okay. Nice gambler. Lucky child make a visit to crocodile pool. Here is the only crocodile we found day to day. So it's the luckiest crocodile. So the rest are all in the water? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, but, but, but they sleep we are in Charlie water. Yeah. They sleep in Charlie water. Yeah. Okay. And they will be in there until in the morning. Yeah. That's their house. Wow. <laughs> so we want to try. Touch it. Touch it. <laughs> no idea. Touch it. Touch it. Uh, the, the, the body is soft. Soft. Eh? Yeah, it's very soft. Ooh. It's just like a reptile. Yeah. And yeah. They, are, they have different kind of crocodiles, like white one and black ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they are not harmful animals. So anyway, if you if you are visiting the Gambia, simply the way. Here is Musa. We will drop up his number. So um, give out your last shout out to people who are watching you. And then um, um, this channel we created like um, it's all about we give courage to the younger one. And then we also try to promote the Gambian business. And then um, it's all about the Gambia, the president, the teachers, the ministers, and the ambassadors. So day to day we are here with you. But we give courage to the younger one, them who are sitting saying that Gambian, Gambia is hard. And then um, none of them are going bag way. Some of them are going through land. Some of them are traveling through the sea and the river. Um, some of them are passing, but um, some of them are suffering on the way. But we said we can make it in the Gambia, in West Africa, in our own country than you know going out. So what, what kind of advice and what kind of side out do you have for your people out there? I mean, Gambia is our home. We can, only, we can only make it better. Wherever you go, anywhere you go in the world, if the people of that country make that country Could better, be better yeah. so we can do that today. The, people, mm -hmm. the white people, they are not supernatural people. I mean, mm -hmm. they work hard to make their country to, to be there. there. Yeah. So, and if they can do one, we can do ten too. We have to change the mindset and the belief that we have to God ourselves that we can do it better. So, home is sweet home. So, yeah. let's do home first. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Home first. Yeah. Gambia. Yeah, Gambia with the simplicity we live with life, we survive, as always we do it. We cover the best outer rest, we cover things CNN and BBC, them not cover. So we are there day to day down in the crocodile pole. We always cover the best out of the rest. So red, white, blue, white, green to the four corners of the world. Simply the way, I would invite you to subscribe, like it, share it to the four corners of the world. Yeah man, don't Please. forget to hit the like button, subscribe. Like. Let's see subscribers counting down on this video. Bless right. up, Gambia, we there. <laughs>